campaign prepares an amazing campaign. Two men enter. The lesser man leaves. Better man is respawning, and that's Halo. The beta. Public beta is where it all comes together. Multiplayer is pretty significant. Fun to kind of to go back and kind of re envision some of the old friends. Like the sniper rifle. <laughs> like I pick up the sniper rifle and I'm like, this is it. It's totally happening. I'm about to rain death on the plebeians that I work with. Oh, and I'm like, <laughs> the Covenant focus rifle is awesome because it's like that. Shh, don't tell Sage he'll nerf it. You'll definitely notice a big difference in how the game functions. The game fairly dull. Right now, at this exact moment in development, armor lock's insane. It's super powerful. I, I love it. That's, I think, Halo at, at its best. Um, we decided to integrate all of them within the campaign, perhaps within the campaign. The band said, let's try to make an objective game that has elements like Slayer and try to make that more fun. And we wanted a big, huge, lots of guys and all these fictional elements. This big team battle. Slayer's awesome. There are multiple flags on the map, and your goal is to grab a flag, take it to your goal. And skulls fly out of your armor ability and your weapon. We sort of pair those intentionally. They have what we call the party games, a really hardcore competitive multiplayer, where we can sort of say, like, if you're hyper-competitive, care about stats, let's make that for you. And try to build that space. Push! Rating. Push. Division. The better you play, you'll eventually be put into a division. The arena divisions are broken up into onyx gold, silver, and steel. You can say, oh yeah, I was gold, you know, and like that means something. And I'm like, you just met f***ing Roger Clemens. I'm onyx. Like, you just met something. And I'm like, oh yeah, like, that's cool. You're basically a triple-A baseball player. Our matchmaking system is really good at matching people up based on saying, well, how much fun will these two people have playing together? What it has never been really good at before is saying, well, how much skill will these two people have playing together? I'll sing, some of it's obnoxious, I'll get muted. Why can't I tell the system, dude, find me other people who love playing like a team player. Instead of just trying to put eight people in a game together, we first use the social preferences for finding teammates. And then we can say, find four other people who are really good skill match. Without players thinking about it, we hope that it'll lead to better social encounters. We can make this game about you. It's a way of saying, friends are online and this is what they're doing, so I can hook up with them with a minimum of fuss. Active roster essentially is us bringing- Shh, Don't tell Sage he'll nerf it! Or assume what you see in the beta is set in stone. What's working about Powerhouse? The DMR is absolutely- Crying out for abuse. Is Rocket Spawn open? Is that good? you kind of get control over how accurate your shot is going to be. If you're spamming that trigger as fast as you can, if you're trying to like hit a guy really, really far away. Everyone's totally destroying with the DMR. It's like everyone's got a Death Star in their hands. DMR is nothing. Invest, play the game, no freebies. You're beta testing, have a beer. Oh, a new game type, narrator defense. That's also a campaign. Sage Hill. Trash talking, not on the couch. Everyone's always wanted the Needler to be hilarious and fun. And it gets too hilarious and fun. And then suddenly, like, something gets fixed, and it's like, oh, tracking's fixed now, and you're like, guys just burst. Yep, it's back. Pistol started to come back. It was, it was... Because it's like that sentinel beam from Halo 2. But now it's a sniper weapon. When it's insane. It was so awesome. I'm super the secret weapon in your back pocket. That's your fourth leg of fun. What do you want to be? Like invisible? Do you want to fly? Do you want to turn to stone? You're juggling f***ing plates, right? You're just sitting there spitting the plates, and occasionally once you're sipping, you're like, ah! And you're like, make invis more powerful. And everyone's like, no, I'm perfect. In the end, it's all about the lesser man. There's that magical step in the process, and like, it stops being software, and all of a sudden, it's more like the awesome. <laughs>